my cutting board. I put it on an element when I first got it, and it it's burned. Not safe. Hey guys, so today we're trying something off Pinterest that I've been really wanting to try for a while. Uh, it's apple pie baked apples. It looks delicious, and since Thanksgiving's coming up next week, uh, maybe it's something nice that you can bring to Thanksgiving, and everyone will be like, whoa, where'd you learn how to do that? Like, I'm just crafty, like that. Unless they don't work, then don't do that. So anyway, so uh, it's actually relatively simple in the ingredients. Uh, what you need is five to six Granny Smith apples, a few extra ones in case I screw up. Uh, you need a fourth cup of sugar, a tablespoon of brown sugar, a little extra brown sugar because I love brown sugar. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then you have pie crust. Uh, this has been upside down the whole time. <laughs> so you have uh, pie crust I went with already made because. Oh, that's why, because the ingredient, the side, it's reversed. So yeah, I went with pre made already because I just don't want to add that factor into there. So yeah, so pretty much what you want to do, oh, it says the pin, uh, you want. This recipe makes four apples worth. So you want to pick four good apples, I've already washed them, that can stand on their own. They'll look the best, because these ones are going to have the actual apple pie in them. I'm going to go with these one. Maybe not that one. You don't make the cut, sorry. So if you're skilled enough, you can actually salvage the apple that you're actually using in here and use it in the mix. Go for it. I have some extra apples just in case I can't do that. So what you want to do is you want to remove the top of the apple. That works pretty well. So you want to do, get out the apple, try, you want to keep it intact as much as possible. So. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Side of the, I spilled one. That's the inside of the apple. We're not going to use any of that just because we can't. So, uh, so in case you, I guess like if you used your knife properly, you could do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut up some apple. So you want to flatten this out. 
So you're gonna wanna use a pizza cutter to cut them into little strips. Uh, she said about a quarter inch. So, take it. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lace them. So after you cut them up, put them on your apple to make a pie crust. It could look nicer, but we got one ready there. Bring it up to here for you to see. So we got one ready there. We'll place it inside the water there. Get the other ones going. So we got all the apples. They're all done. Perfect. So this is what it'll look like. Oops, I spilled some water. So we got the four apples here. All ready to go. So it says that you want to place them in the pan and remember just to put a little bit of water on the bottom just to cover it, I guess, so they don't burn. So, yeah, that would have been a fail if I didn't read that. Uh, then we're going to want to cover it in tin foil and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. And then after that, uh, after the 20 25 minutes, uh, take it out, remove the tin foil, and place it and remove the tin foil and bake it for another 20 minutes. So let's get it in the oven. In the oven for 25 minutes. Yeah, so let's okay, see what they so look like. Okay, so we've done it for 25 minutes. Now it's time to take them out and take the foil off and see what they Ooh, look like. Oh, it's steaming. How hot do you think this is? Oh, I hope they look good. Woo! Oh, all right. They still look intact, they look good. So next, so this is what they look like. There we go. So now they're gonna go in for another 20 minutes, I guess to get the pie crust all good. I don't know why. All right, let's put them in for the it's next 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes, they're done. Oh, fingers crossed, hope they work. All right, so, oh yeah. So this is what they look like, all done. Oh, they asked them high. Baked in apples. Nailed it. I'm doing so good. Wow. I'm really happy those worked. I think they're so cute. Okay, so yeah, that's perfect. So yeah, for Thanksgiving coming up, like, what is it, like on the 13th or the 11th or? 13th, I think. Oh, Thanksgiving sometime coming up soon. Make these for your family. They'll be super impressed. They'll be like, whoa, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I can, family. Yes, I can. Because I'm crafty and I know what I'm doing. So uh, if you liked what you saw, press the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more. I put up new ones every Tuesday and Friday. Um, yeah, leave a comment in the description for what you think I should do next. Yeah, I'll probably be doing some Halloween stuff coming up. Some classic Jack Lantern carving. They'll probably, when Thanksgiving, like American Thanksgiving comes up next month, I'll probably do some more Thanksgiving stuff. Yeah, so 